Lawyers representing Columbus School for Girls say a now former teacher at the school had sex with one of his students while the student attended CSG. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Andrew Kinsey and I'm Yolanda Harris. Stephen Pryor was placed on paid administrative leave back in November and has since resigned. Pryor has not been criminally charged. 10 TV's Lindsay Mills has more on what we know about this tonight. According to a letter sent to the Columbus School for Girls community by head of schools Jennifer Ciccarelli, she received a credible threat about Stephen Pryor on October 30th, 2020. Now, more than three months later, we're hearing the results of an investigation conducted by lawyers hired by the school. In her letter, Ciccarelli writes, attorneys reviewed all available documentary evidence and interviewed 31 individuals who came forward with relevant personal knowledge about this matter. They found Pryor did engage in a sexual relationship with one of his students while she attended CSG. They say it happened in the mid 2000s. In November, when 10 TV first inquired about prior to CSG officials, we were told, quote, to our knowledge, law enforcement is not involved, end quote. It's unclear at this time where the incident happened. 10 TV did obtain emails between the head of school and an alum who said she was concerned about Stephen Pryor. Those emails date back to April 2nd. Pryor has not been criminally charged. Ciccarelli declined our request for further comment. In Baxley, Lindsay Mills, 10 TV News. Now, currently, the statute of limitations in Ohio for rape charges to be filed is 20 to 25 years.